For pretty much the entire season, the Los Angeles Chargers have been a team you've had to keep your eye on. In fact, I think they've been one of the more dangerous teams in the entire NFL. And, of course, they're led by none other, than, none other come on, than Justin Herbert. Now, second-year quarterback uh, out of Oregon, you'd think, okay, you look at him, you look at his stats, he's already got 27 touchdowns this year against only 11 interceptions, uh, has the, over 3,500 passing yards, completing uh, a high clip or percentage of your pass of his passes um and i think when you take into consideration the amount of efficiency he's playing with completing about 66.6 percent of his passes or two-thirds of his passes for those of you that are aware of that and know how to do math um uh, unlike myself um you uh, are aware that this man has been playing uh at a very very good level this year now i also think that the way that the chargers uh and especially how specifically how explosive they have been i think it is really an attribute and really has to be attributed to brendan staley um because obviously their fourth downs have been uh kind of a, a, a topic of discussion with this team but honestly it's the fact that this defense is coming together which i think uh, we'll get into in a second but it all starts with justin herbert and again we, we said he's playing like an mvp he is just a different quarterback he is just clearly built different than a lot of nfl quarterbacks and he's a special player austin eckler has been running the ball uh very effectively as of late uh and did well he especially did so against my vikings uh, but so far on the year, he has 663 yards and 149 carries, including eight touchdowns and, you know, four and a half yards a carry. He's running the ball well. He's doing his thing of catching the ball um, a, a lot. Uh, has, has, right now has a career, uh, well, second best career high, 56 catches for 518 yards and seven touchdowns. He is just, he's a man. He's got 15 total touchdowns through the first, uh, what is this, uh, 12 games of the season. And it's just, you like what you see from this man because you just know what he brings week in week out he's a reliable receiving threat he runs the ball well and he's just a team player you love what you see from this guy austin eckler is a big reason as to why they've been explosive um keenan allen has 86 catches for 929 yards and four touchdowns this year uh mike williams like the thing about mike williams is is like he doesn't get near as much credit as he should uh because Yes, he's a deep threat, but it's the fact that he just is so much more for this team. Currently has 55 catches for 854 uh, 54 yards, excuse me, and seven touchdowns. So you just see after so many of these layers of this team, excuse me, you just find a player that is just a, a difference maker. And I mean, Mike Williams is no exception um, ever since he was drafted um, by the Chargers uh, back in 2017 so uh he's been absolutely a big part of their success uh, and there's just players like we said mike williams um i you know keenan allen uh justin jackson even though he hasn't been that much of a he hasn't had that big of an impact this year uh i just saw him on the statue and thought of moreto but austin eckler justin herbert there is just players upon players that are explosive for this team jared cook by the way a little disappointed i thought he was going to have more of a uh, a bigger impact only has 36 catches for 400 yards and three touchdowns but i mean it's still what you got what four or five games left left in the season um i, I fully expect him to uh be just fine but to me the biggest story is the defense because yes uh, we know that nfl defenses it's hard to turn entire teams around but brandon staley in his one year uh has definitely done it now i do think that uh there has to be something that needs to be said of nfl teams that can both stop the run and play some good um, plays just play good as overall defense and i think when you look at you know teams like the chargers teams uh that can stop the run that can play solid defense and honestly find a way to win the game i think that's the biggest thing now the chargers also i mean you got derwin james back there at safety that boy just plays i mean he just he's just a bad man just a bad man so um overall you just this is just a very special team um and it really is because of the way that that defensive played i believe what they're like a top 10 unit in most categories right now um have only allowed 17 touchdowns and nine interceptions just over 2500 yards passing um and i think you know again uh, being a top 10 unit uh off the top of my head I, yeah they're t they're 10th in passing so uh they stop the run as well. Linval Joseph just does wonders. You know, I, I think he doesn't get his enough uh, enough credit either because, I mean, as a former Vikings fan, I can just tell you this man just continues to do his thing uh, and makes a lot of plays for um, the Chargers. Now, uh, now not not top ten in stopping the run, but they aren't in the past. Excuse me, but they can still stop the run. They play the pass well, and they do just enough to be able to get the job done. And I, like I said, I have been saying it from the very beginning that the Chargers defense is much improved. Um, I think they're what seventh passing. Excuse me, not tenth. I apologize. 
apologize. But, you know, you got a defense that can play. If you can stop the run and force the teams to pass, just makes everyone's life a lot easier. Derwin James has 100 tackles this year, two, ta two sacks. Um, Kaiser White, 96 total tackles and a sack as well. Um, Nasir Adderley, like... Another guy that doesn't get enough praise, 68 tackles, a half sack. Linval Joseph, we mentioned him. He just brings so much for that running game. Joey Bosa, I mean, he might not be the better of the Bosa brothers, but he's still a heck of a player. Seven and a half sacks leading the team this year. And, uh, you know, you really just, you really like what you see from this defense. I mean, Brandon Staley has done wonders already, and you love it because, I mean, you just, there's so many players uh, on offense that get a lot of praise but this defense really to me is the story even guys like uh, you know Jerry Tillery who I only I know he only has two and a half sacks but he just makes plays every single time he's in that like he's in like it doesn't matter because he's always going to make plays also uh, now I know Uchenna uh, Uchenna Nwosu I, I know that I can't pronounce his name, his first name correctly, but I can pronounce his last name because he was just everywhere against the Vikings. He's got 23 total tackles this year, four sacks. He has been a pleasant surprise as of late, making plays for that defense. And I think he's just another reason or another player to, to, to highlight because, you know, there are players at every level, especially with the defense that are breaking plays, and you got to give them. But this, this all encapsulates and all comes back to the point that the Chargers are a very dangerous team, and if they can honestly... Uh, do the same damage they are offensively and just keep this consistency uh, consistency defensively, they're going to be a special team. But let us know what you guys think about the Chargers being a dangerous team. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Check out our website at thesportsbeatpodcast.com. In the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. And then, as always, if you have anything you'd like to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or... Put whatever you want us to cover in the comment section down below, and we would be glad to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Chargers being a dangerous team.